Hey everyone, finally back in nature out here. Um, let's talk a little bit about our spirit guides today. So everyone pretty much comes here with a team of guides. Uh, they are they can manifest or they are in the form of uh, you know ascended masters like even Christ or Buddha. You can you can have them as your guide if you if you choose to call on him or them or if they are already assigned to you from the beginning. Um, in form of angel angels you can have angel guides and these angel guides they, they can help you pretty much with any scenario in your life uh also specific spirit guides as well so say you're like struggling financially or you need some financial assistance or financial knowledge or anything regarding financial uh situations you'll be sent uh these sort of financial guides or financial angels that will help you with the problem and will then leave once you're done once you don't need their help anymore because in essence you are calling on them right so they are they're like they're these guides they cannot help you uh, without your choice without your asking for it can't impose your on your free will um therefore it, it's on you to ask for their assistance it's on you to also follow their advice because if you ask for help and then do the opposite every time they're just gonna uh, retreat and you know they're not necessarily gonna give you that advice anymore until you're tr until you're truly ready to listen so yeah and uh, you know this this can manifest in any situation so basically wherever you need help in you know you're not you're you're not by yourself you're not alone that's what everyone has the common min misconception of that you know we feel alone therefore we are alone but we can't perceive these other dim dimensions that are around us you know, we can't physically see the guide in front of us therefore they don't exist but that's not true and you can tell uh, the more spiritual you get the more knowledge um you acquire about these t t types of guides the more you start to understand how they're actually drawn to you and how they're calling you right so you can communicate to them through numbers through other people because let's say or through even your thoughts Let's say, you, you know, you're communicating to them through your thoughts or something or you get some sort of intuitive sign and you don't necessarily take it as much. They'll send another person to say something to you out of the blue as, as confirmation or they'll send some sort of crystal that you'll feel drawn to. And when you look up the meaning, it, 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 uh, it has specific qualities that can assist you with exactly what you need to help in, in that moment. They can send you... Uh, in forms of numbers which are the most uh, malleable in this dimension it's, they're most easily used by them uh and they can send certain synchronistic numbers and then once you look up their meaning then you'll understand their message okay so it's all about being more intuitive and aware of the things going on around you what sort of repeating patterns are happening uh, are you noticing something that keeps repeating in your life because more than likely it's a it's a message from your spirit guides okay and these guides most of them i would say are future versions of yourself okay so if you may have heard of parallel realities parallel timelines in which you have accomplished other things or you may have lived different lives they still end up in the destination that you may want to achieve in, in this lifetime so even though let's say in another timeline i'm a painter or something of that nature if i want to access that painting timeline or those painting skill sets i can directly communicate with that future version of myself right if i want to access more spiritual guidance i can directly communicate with them but even all those uh, individual versions of myself they still want the best for me right so they're gonna think back to all the suffering they may have had and all the different paths they may have taken and they'll say hmm, maybe if I did this differently I could have affected this and this would have let me down a different path and it would have caused me less suffering and I would have gotten the lesson without needing to suffer in a sense understand so the same way we are doing when we think back for our own memories oh how could i have done that differently we're essentially reaching out 
to a previous version of ourself communicating with them because time exists all at once. It's not linear, it's circular, right? So you can take a circle, you can take a point on the circle and say, this is where I want to be in time because it's, it's all connected, right? It's all united. So knowing that, you can easily access a parallel dimension of yourself or a parallel reality in which um, you you see that version of yourself and you can, you know, send it guidance if it wants to be guided, right? So we're constantly trying to communicate with each other um, through different timelines for the benefit of our spiritual evolution and our ascension, okay? So basic message is be, be aware of the signs around you and you're not alone okay you got a whole team of guides here you didn't come here by yourself like you're left in the wild stranded you pretty much came here with a gps map you know cell phone everything you want but if you know if you don't use them then that's your choice so you can wander aimlessly to the wild all you want or you can use the tools that you're given um, but, you know, obviously some people aren't aware of these tools. So, yeah, uh, the way I try to communicate, I try to communicate intu intuitively, right, through my thoughts. So I will uh, think of a question. I'll ask directly to God, my guides, my higher self, because the guides are mainly the guides connect you to your higher self and your higher self connects you to God. So it's kind of like intermediate. You don't have to talk directly to God. You can talk directly to God if you want. But they they serve as a they serve their purpose in helping you. So you can ask a question. You can maybe receive an intuitive answer. Maybe you're not as good at uh, with it um, yet. So maybe you know you seek some sort of external validation. Perfectly all right. You know, not necessary whatsoever, but perfectly all right. And then you receive you know, say. You're asking, God, is this a good situation or a good path to be on? Is this, is it okay if I choose this path? And then you hear intuitive yes. You're like, mm, okay. And the next thing you see is a, a truck with a license plate, 444. 444 means protection, divinely guided, right? So you can use that as a form of um, confirmation, okay? So, yeah, you know, experiment with this. See what happens. See if you can notice anything repeating. You know, like, at first you'd be like, oh, that's a coincidence. So there's no way. I don't believe in such things. Coincidences, everything is very synchronistic and divinely guided. But, you know, the more you experience, the more of these coincidences you'll see. And then how many coincidences does it take until you realize that it's impossible for that, for that much to happen. All right. So try it out. Okay, and uh, post in the comments what what uh, you may have found. Okay, all right, guys, I'm gonna continue my walk here on this beautiful nature trail, and you guys have a good one. Bye.